a brand new style by Henry Margu called Claire. I have it in two colors. Coming up. So this is Claire by Henry Margu. I could not wait to get my hands on this style. It's short, it's voluminous, it's wavy, it's right up my alley, and it ticks all the boxes for me personally. We're gonna show it to you in two colors today. You can find this at Wig Studio One. If you go below the video and expand the description box, you'll find a direct product link. It'll be labeled Henry Margu Claire. If you click on the link, it'll take you right out to the site where you can see the pricing and all of the colors. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you have questions, please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. And don't forget to visit the private Facebook group called the Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. So this is Claire in the color 26 GR, but we are also going to take a look at it in 82726 GR, which is a newer color for Henry Margu. So they've got a beautiful brunette, but what happened was I ordered the brunette first, I got it and I loved it so much that I had to have it in my blonde. So this 26 GR is a combination of some gold blondes, more of a medium gold blonde with a pale gold blonde highlight on a medium brown root. I have seen applications of this color that lean really gold and warm. This particular uh, application is the one I'm most used to, used to, which is a very soft, almost neutral goldish blonde. It's been toned a little bit better than some. So it's just gorgeous. And then I'll show you the color, the, uh, the H2726GR. I'll show you that here in just a moment. So let's talk about Claire. This is a true shake and go, plug and chug wig style, as I like to say. Very convenient and easy to wear. It has an open cap. So you'll see open wefted on the top sides and back throughout this style. There's no lace or monofilament that will help keep the price point down as well. But this is a very high quality wig. If there's something I can say about Henry Margu is that they put out a wonderful high quality product. Everything about the construction of the cap and the fibers. So the front piece here is about five and a half inches on the fringe and that fringe just wants to feather back into the style, stays out of the face beautifully. All you have to do is rake your fingers through it. You can part it wherever you like. It has that lady dye feathering going on right there at the front, doesn't it? Overall it's about 10 inches so it's well above the collar on most people. It weighs just over three ounces so it's super lightweight. And this volume is done by two things. So the volume is done by a medium to thick density. So you've got a lot of hair here. It doesn't feel heavy because each one of those fibers has been sort of taken down in that modern razor look all throughout. It's got the brushed ends on it. And it looks salon fresh every single time. Also, there is a lot of permatease. So this one has permatease of every square inch of this cap. You're going to find a lot of permatease on the top, at the crown, on the sides, at the temple, in the back, and at the nape. You can see why though, because it easily sustains the lift that you want. The last thing you want to do is let these curls fall flat, and this gives you all day soft volume. It's still tuckable though. That's always a big test for me. So there's no permatease right at the ear tab, so by tucking it, it really does stay nicely behind the ear. This is not heat friendly, it's a regular synthetic fiber. Each one feels very soft, fine, and silky. Now the hairline, you wanna know about the hairline. So it looks really nice. I'm gonna show you an inside look at the cap, but again, no lace there, but the way they sew in the fiber, there's a bit of a hidden weft that really makes that hairline look and feel natural. There's a bit of a forward movement on the fiber, so it just wants to, to come down over the forehead and sweep back through the style. And then all I did was I just pressed, used my finger just to press in a little contour where I parted it. And it works beautifully. This is very receptive to just my hand maneuvers to make it my own. My favorite way to wear it is by tucking behind the left ear and just sort of fluffing up on the opposite side. Now, it has a lot of permatease, but you can also shrink the profile just by the heat of your hands. So if you wanna get in there and just work that profile by smashing, getting up under the fiber and smashing the permatease down. You can definitely get some very nice slim looks through the temple. If you can smooth the temple, that gives the illusion of a slimmer profile. Let's bring out our next color, which is 82726 GR. So here it is. This one seems to have a little bit more curl. I love it when I can show at least two pieces. That way we can get a sense of what the variances might look like. This curl goes a little farther up onto the crown than did the 26 GR, but you're still getting that smooth look 
across the forehead with this fringe. Let's talk about this color, 82726GR. It's sort of a medium brown base color. And then you have in there some strawberry blonde and some gold blonde. And that strawberry is really going to make this look a little auburn from a distance. It looks like a highlighted auburn color, but it's highly dimensional, it's warm, and it does have a little bit of a darker root. So that root next to the medium brown just has, it's just a shade darker. So it just looks very soft and natural, giving it some depth and dimension. Love Henry Margu's colors. I love their gradient colors, which are their uh, rooted colors, and their highlighted colors are just beautiful. So let's go ahead, I'll give you an outside look at these colors, and then we'll do some styling for Claire. So here's the inside of the cap for Henry Margus Claire. It's a completely open cap, so very well made. We've got a velvet piece right there in the front, nice sturdy velvet with a brush of fiber right there for a better looking hairline. You've got open wefts on the top, sides and back of this piece. Um, a velvet ear tab, look at all the fiber spliced in there. This is something extra that Henry Margu has done to give you better coverage right there at the temple. And then we have an extended felted nape with Velcro style adjusters, lots of stretch, lots of, lots of room. This one does fit me a bit large, so I had to make a maximum adjustment to fit my petite average circumference. So there's a lot of permities in the area. I'm not having any trouble. I seldom have any trouble with my glasses, but just know there's a lot of permities in the area of the glasses arms, and you may have to make some adjustments for your glasses. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to move this around so you can get an idea of the density, the movement of the style, inspire you to style your wigs. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you soon right back here at Taz's Wig Closet.